Excellent. We are going to move directly on to our next presentation, which is going to be given by Pankaj Gupta. And I'd like to introduce uh, Pankaj to you uh, while we get him on board. So Pankaj has a bachelor's degree in ceramic engineering, as well as a master's degree in business management. Uh, he has around 16 years of rich industrial experience. And for the last 12 years, he's looked after the refractory business for different high temperature process industries, including for cement. Pankaj, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you too. If you wouldn't mind just putting your presentation into presentation mode, that would be great. Thank you. So currently, Pankaj works as the business head for Hasler Refractories, a Danish company, and he's responsible for Hasler business in India, the Middle East, and in Africa. And he's currently located in New Delhi in India. So Pankaj, we can see you and we can hear you, and your PowerPoint is in the right format. So please do go ahead and give us your presentation. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, good morning to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good evening, everyone, uh, depending on your time zone. First of all, I would like to thank Global Cement Magazine for organizing such a uh, knowledge sharing event and giving us opportunity to speak at this platform. As we all know, since, uh, since the beginning of cement man manufacturing, fossil fuels were used uh, as a main fuel but since last two, three decades, uh, cement industry is using uh, alternative fuels to be more sustainable and uh, also to reduce uh, the production cost. So these alternative fuels are beneficial in some way, but uh, these are also harmful for refractory use in the cement plant. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about the how we can minimize the refractive challenges when using alternative fuels. So in my presentation, I will uh, briefly introduce our company Hesle and uh, its product and characteristics, then type of alternative fuels and refractory challenges faced by the cement industry, Hesle product selection, Hesle case stories, for castable and precast, and finally the question and answer session. So Hasley is basically a privately owned company established way before uh, in 1843. We develop, produce, and sell refractive material. Our head office, research and development, and production is based in Denmark. Subsidiary, we have two subsidiaries. One is in India, and one is in Thailand, and uh, basically European. Uh, countries are catered from our Copenhagen sales office. We supply refractive material to more than 50 countries worldwide. Our main products are aluminum silicate cast tables and precast for cement, steel, and power industry. Our annual capacity is uh, 20,000 tons uh, low cement cast table and uh, 1,000 tons precast annually. From our head office, we provide engineering, consulting, and designing for refractory lining for our customers. All the related testings are done in our own laboratory in Denmark factory to meet the customer specific process requirements. For all supplied materials of our, uh, our refractory, we provide technical supervision by deputing Hesley skilled engineers and uh, uh, supervisors or uh, it is from Hesley or from our 10 partners. So coming to the Hesley product and its characteristics. Hesley produces uh, most of the variety of the dense cast tables like traditional cast table, gunning cast table, low cement cast table and no cement cast table which scatters most of the critical areas of the cement industry, cement plant. Major raw materials used uh, and its characteristics are like uh, uh, cement, which is basically used for alkali resistance, andesite, which provides soft thermal soft resistance, mullite for strength, bauxite for abrasion resistance, corundum for high refractiveness, then micro silica for densification and workability of cast table, and other various silica 
silica and alumina fines for muride formation at elevated temperatures and silicon carbide for high thermal conductivity and shock resistance. Hasley always uses uh, non recycled high quality raw materials with very low porosity and uh, with low alkali and iron content. We never use recycled product, recycled raw material for the manufacturing of our products. So major characteristics of Hasley products are that they are having outstanding properties and uh, resistant to high temperature, chemical attack, thermal shock, erosive and abrasive wear, buildup and mechanical stress, which are the main abuses in the, you can say, uh, in the cement plant. Hasley always tries to minimize, to keep the open porosity of the cast table at the minimum level, that is 10 to 12. We are able to achieve 10 to 12 percent open porosity, and which is achieved by our unique particle size distribution, choice of raw materials, and a proper installation procedure at on site. So now coming to the type of alternative fuels and refractory challenges. So Conventionally, cement industry is using fossil fuels like coal, petroleum products, and natural gases. But since last two, three decades, uh, different alternative fuels are used in the cement, cement industry. These are like pet coke, plastic waste, pharmaceutical waste, biomass waste, rejected tires, MSW, and waste oils, depending on the availability of alternative fuels in that region. What happens when we use these alternative fuels? This creates extra concentration of alkali, sulfate, chlorides, and variable metal, metals are included in the system by using these, these uh, alternative fuels. So what happens when we use these alternative fuels? The, there are sulfates, alkalis, and chlorides, which actually uh, makes buildup build and coating in the main uh, working area of the cement plant. Like uh, it is, uh, there is too much coating formation in the smoke chamber area, riser area, feed pipes, and also in the cyclone cone and uh, cyclone roof area. So you can see here the some of the pictures from the directly from the side so this is the feed pipe where you can see the coating pattern we have in the past we have seen in some of the plants where this coating is so much that uh, these feed pipes are completely choked and the plant has to be take uh, breakdown and uh, plant is able to run only after cleaning up all this coating you can also see the coating pattern in uh, smoke chamber and riser area so which needs need to be regularly or frequently to be cleaned so by you by cleaning and do this doing this actually plant is losing some thermal there is some thermal losses and uh, thermal efficiency of the plant is reducing so here is the one more example for uh, a chemical attack done by these alkali sulfates and chlorides here I am taking the example of burner pipe, where burner pipe refractory, which is failed due to the heavy chemical attack from these gases, gases phases. So you can see how is the condition of this burner pipe. I think this is uh, after two or three months of running of this burner pipe. So what happens? Uh, these alkalis basically react with the alumina of the refractories and forms a new crystal structure with high volume, which crack the you can see here which which cracks the refractory lining and also it forms a, a build up on the surface of the refractory and sulfates which react with the alkalis that is n2a k2a mgo and co and causes brittleness in the of the refractory and uh, performance of refractory reduces and chlorides basically infiltrates refractory lining very easily and condensate in, condensate in the refractory. And when it reacts with the alkalis, it uh, creates uh, cracks in the refractories and lead to failure of the lining. So actually, we, de we do this uh, cup, cup test in our laboratory. Here you can see uh, this is the normal cast table. Uh, where we did uh, this uh, uh, 
alkali test and you can see this uh, cup is broken fractured into four parts uh, but if you are having you are using uh, suitable products uh, like uh, if you are using uh, a refractory with uh, a good quality of raw materials and having good uh, characteristics then it can it is not very much impacted by this alkali sulfates and uh, chlorides here we we do these tests with our products like d59a d39a uh, in this we make a cup of this refract our cast table and uh, we put uh, alkali sulfate and uh, alkali chlorides and uh, heat it for uh, 5 hours at 1100 degrees centigrade and see what is the penetration level and also what is the reaction with the surface of the uh, refractory so in our case this uh, penetration and reaction is very minimal on the other hand you can see what happens if your refract is not suitable for these alkali sulfate and chlorides uh, so this hampers the performance of the refractories so in modern days uh, major challenges for the refractory modern cement kilns are heavy chemical attack and build up high temperature and thermal shock high mechanical load and wear, high abrasion by airborne particles, and also for uh, demand for minimum downtime in cleanup production. So all the plants need to be uh, to be very careful when selecting uh, these refractory and castables to get best performance out of refractory lining. So now I'm coming to the Hesley products. Actually, Hesley is producing all type of product which can be used in different critical areas and also non-critical areas like it can be used in smoke chamber, riser area, cyclone area, kill load area, burner pipe, TID damper, bull nose and also on in the nose ring and other parts of cooler, hot parts of the cooler. So we have all the range of products. So we and the product line is we are having one unique precast model aligning solution. So which is manufactured by our own cast tables in our factory. And the basic advantage of these precast are actually this is mixed, vibrated, and cured, heated under the controlled condition in our factory. These can be installed faster than the installation of low cement cast table as it is already dried up so it uh, you do not do not need for the drawing of the refractory lining we can also reduce the lining thickness suppose if you want to reduce the lining thickness from 300 or 350 to lesser line thickness we can reduce it up to 185 millimeter lining thickness this provides a longer lifetime that is around 2.5 to 3.5 times lifetime you can achieve and this precast lining is resistant to chemicals like alkali sulfate and chlorides hence it, it leads to very less or no buildup coating on the surface of the uh, precast lining here is a small video regarding the installation procedure how it is installed in a uh, typical area of a same plant Basically, this is the uh, precast block, which is 250 by 250 and 120 in thickness. And its uh, weight is around 15 to 17 kgs. So it is very easy to handle. So coming to the installation part, this is the typical smoke chamber area. So you can see First, this steel base plate will be welded with the casing and this uh, base elements will be fixed by providing proper expansion provision. Same way on the, this is L anchors to be fixed for holding these base elements. Same way on the other side of the wall with proper expansion provision. So then these uh, metallic rails are welded on the casing. And with the help of this uh, nut bolt and washer arrangement, 
these precast elements are fixed with the casing of the cell. These are also provided with proper expansion joints. Same way in other, other wall. So after completing th two, three layers, uh, it is back side is filled up with uh, insulating block and uh, with insulating cast table, depending on the lining thickness. So this goes on. So this is the completed uh, smoke chamber area by precast lining that is called modular lining. So one basic advantage with this precast lining is that uh, along with the uh, advantage what I have discussed earlier, uh, these precasts are uh, has already pre-fired. It is not having any a fixed self life it can be used after two years three years four years five years so there is no problem and we can produce uh, this precast depending on your uh, site requirement it is tailor made so for all the installation of this precast modular lining we provide our technical supervision who ensures the proper installation of this precast lining and guide the uh, your cement plant team for the proper installation here is a complete uh, lining of a smoke chamber by using modular lining system. Now coming to the selected case stories from cement plant. This is for castable. So this is one plant uh, uh, in Asia with line capacity of 8000 TPD and using 25% alternative fuels. Here plant is actually facing too much problem of coating in a smoke chamber area and uh, we discuss the thing with the plant people and uh, supply the and install our dvp table you can see the condition of uh, this smoke chamber after 36 months so this is the case story from uh, one of the cement plant, one of the white cement plant in uh, malaysia uh, with land capacity of 1500 500 they are facing a lot of coating issue in smoke chamber and riser duct area and after detailed study, we supplied and installed our DVP 9 cast table. And you can see this is the picture after seven months where no coating is uh, uh, can be seen in the smoke chamber area. And uh, total life achieved by this uh, by installing this DVP 9 cast table was 48 months in this plant. Again, in this plant, that is 10,000 TBD plant from Asia. They are using 100% pet coke, 100% coal. But what problem they are facing, their, their refractory lining is failing due to the chemical attack and uh, they are not able to get more than one year life. We supplied our dvp 9 a cast table and able to get achieve the life of 3.5 years. This is picture after 29 months. In the... So coming to the cooler side, uh, this plant is from India with uh, 6000 TBD capacity. And they are actually facing problem of uh, refractory lining in bull, bull nose area. They are getting only 12 months life with some patchwork in between. And we studied and we supplied our D50 to a cast table and able to achieve 24 months life without any intermediate repair. So this picture is from September 2018 shutdown and this picture is from after September 2020. So as after that, they have to run the plant for the next uh, one year, they replace this with new castable. So this case is from uh, one of the plant in Thailand, which is uh, running uh, line, line capacity is 8000 TPD and running on 25% 25 alternative fuels. They are not able to achieve life more than six months, and we installed DVP 9 in Castable, and they were able to achieve 12 months' life. You can see after six months' picture and after 12 months. This is another Bandar case story from India. Line capacity is 10,000 TBD. Uh, fuel used is 100% pet coke in main burner. And they were not able to achieve four to five months' life maximum, and uh, we supplied our D65 TA Castable. And which is basically quarantine based cast table and they achieved the life of first time they achieved life of eight months in this plant 
and since last seven eight years we are supplying to this plant. This is case for nose ring area where 20% pet coke is used and this plant was not never achieved life of 12 months. We supplied our D52 a cast table and installed in our technical supervision and they were able to achieve 18 months life. This is from the their recent shutdown picture. Same way, uh, this is 10,000 TBD plant from Thailand and they are using 25% AFR. You can see the condition of killed wood after 30 months. It's still in very good condition. It may run for another two, three years. So now coming to the selected case studies for precast model mining. So this is the case uh, from one of the plant that is of 8,000 TBD and running on 10% alternative fuels. So here you can see the clear difference of coating formation on the surface of refractories. This is Hesley model lining and this, this area is casted with others castable. And uh, it is completely clean without any coating. And you can see the lot of coating on the surface of castable. And for this plant, we achieved a four years life. This is the case of Lafarge plant in from Canada. Uh, actually, they are facing a lot of chemical attack and coating issue in their riser area, and they never achieve life of 12 months. Uh, we uh, we studied the process and uh, we check check the check the site, and uh, we saw actually saw that uh, their refractory is very much damaged because of chemical attack. And we uh, we did our, our model lining in whole riser area. And this is the picture. We did this installation in 2018. And in recent uh, April 2021, 2021, uh, 21 shutdown, down, we, is, we got this picture from this site. And even after 36 months, uh, six months, uh, the li uh, lining is very much intact without any major issue. So it is still running and we are expecting another one year or two years. So you can see that uh, against one year life, it is already crossed three, three years life. Same way we can install, we can produce and install precast for inlet arch area where most of the plants, even plants are getting life of only one year or max two years. But by applying, uh, installing this, our precast elements, plants can achieve four to five years life. So this is the uh, case from one of the plant in India and uh, the life achieved here is 51 months. Even after 51 one month, it, line was, condition was, uh, this condition of refractory was good, but as the line has to run for another uh, one year, so they replaced it with new lining. Same again with precast lining. This is the case from Vietnam, 5,000 TBD plant, 30% AFR is used in this plant. Earlier they used to get 12 months life in, uh, in Bullnose area. They wanted to extend the life. So we installed our we suggested for precast lining, model lining. And you can see after condition after nine months, uh, nine to 10 months. And this is the condition of precast after two years. And this is condition of precast after three, year, three years. So for this plant, we already did three installations for this plant. So we are supplying to them since last, since uh, I think 2011, we are supplying to them. This is the third time we installed in this plant. Same way we can do the precast lining in cooler roof area, in kiln wood area, in cooler walls, side walls area with excellent performance, which cannot be achieved by uh, normal low cement castables. So we can also produce uh, this precast lining for feed pipes. This is the case story from one of the plant in, in India running on 100% pet coke. And this plant is facing a lot of coating issue in feed pipes. This is the condition after two years of running. You cannot see any coating trace on the feed pipe refractory. So, and uh, lifetime achieved by this lining can be eight years or up to 10 years. There are some plants we can, which can achieve 10 years life with this precast lining in feed pipes. So coming to the end of the presentation, uh, like uh, most all the cement industry in, in the world is talking about the sustainability. So we cannot remove all the CO2 from the system, but we can help uh, the cement industry by providing 
smooth process uh, for inner to be more energy efficient by reducing their CO2 emission. So being the by getting a smooth process, you can reduce CO2, you can reduce the CO2 emission. And also by getting longer lifetime means less refractory consumption. Less refractory consumption means there will be less refractory production actually. So and also transportation of same. So by this way, another way you can reduce the CO2 footprint on the earth. So we promote the use more and more uses of alternative fuels by using our unique refractory solutions. Thank you. And uh, for your, depending on your area, I'm looking after India, Middle East and East Africa. I can be contacted on mentioned email ID. My colleague, Mr. Pricha, who's looking, looking after Asia, Australia and New Zealand, he can be contacted on given email ID. And my colleague, Mr. Daniel, who is looking after Europe, West Africa, North and South America, he can be contacted on this email ID. So please follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook because we are every week we are posting uh, new case stories on these social media and you will be updated on our new product development and many more case stories. Thank you very much. Yes, Robert. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Pankaj, for a very interesting uh, presentation um, telling us all about what uh, Hasla can do for our many um, audience uh, participants in the cement industry, uh, not just in Africa, but uh, around the world. And uh, yeah. thanks very much indeed for bringing in this very, very interesting subject of uh, refractory usage um, alongside alternative fuels usage, which uh, is really a very interesting uh, subject. And people are asking uh, questions about this all the time. So thanks very much indeed. Uh, you do actually have a number of uh, questions. So the first one is from uh, Pradeep Kumar. And he says, uh, do you supply gunniting mix? Uh, and also, do you supply andalusite-based castable? Yes, we supply andalusite-based castable. Our D59 castable and uh, D65 TA castables are based on andalusite. Uh, basically, major advantage of andalusite is uh, to provide thermal shock resistance to the refractory lining. So we, okay. we, do, supply, we do supply. And it, and also are those available as a as a um a gunniting mix. Yes, yes, we are supplying uh, because uh, D59 is a normal casting version, and we also are having gun 59, which is gunning version of that 59 castable. So we do that. Okay, fair enough. So Pankaj Kumar asks, what are the life? What is the life expectancy of the modular precast lining? He suggests that it should be a minimum of five years because the cost compared to a conventional casting or castable is likely to be appreciably higher. So there's two sides to this question. What's the lifetime and actually what's the cost compared to conventional castable? Uh, actually, lifetime depends on the area of application. Uh, like I uh, mentioned in my case stories for precast lining, that is modular lining, uh, depending on the area, like in cooler Gulnod, it can be achieved. Uh, we have achieved actually three years life. In feed pipes, we have achieved eight to ten years life. And uh, in the smoke chamber area, like I have, I've shown the Lafarge Canada case, where they have already crossed the three years life in their riser area, and it's still it is running. And we are expecting at least uh, one year or two year. Depend. We will see after one year what is the condition of that. And uh, in one of the plant in India. Uh, we that is also running on 100% pet coke, and uh, we installed it in in between the smoke in between the calciner and the uh, and the uh, this lowest cyclone, and there we have already achieved life of more than six years. So it majorly depends on the area of application. We cannot define that for each and every area we can offer life of five or six years. So it depends on the area of application. Okay, and the second point and regarding is the cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming to that point. Uh, on the cost comparison, if you compare with the low cement castable prices, uh, it is yes, it is higher than that. Uh, it is, I think, it is around 2.5 times higher than the castable prices. But but what happens? You will get maybe 
whatever whatever cases i have presented they got more than three three times life in that area which reduces overall if you see the overall cost it will be it will be lower than the normal cost table actually if okay, you do so the cost analysis on the span for the span of the period whole period then you will get the it is economical okay so so a side question to that is that uh, the modular lining is is built to last it's it's permanent uh, but does that not mean that it's actually more difficult to take out and replace at the end of its life yeah actually uh, if there is some uh, elements are broken or damaged during the maybe after two years or three years it can be replaced easily by removing uh, some of the because that's why we are supplying some spare quantity if after two years, three years, you found some elements has been broken or uh, damaged, it can be replaced very easily. But under the supervision of our health, our engineer, because plant cannot do very easily by themselves. Okay. So uh, supervision so, is required. Okay. So another question uh, from Pradeep Kumar. Uh, he says uh, the burner pipe castable needs to be preheated. So at what temperature? would you say that it, it becomes strong enough uh, actually do you, you do you achieve this ceramic bonding and he's also asking for the nose ring castable too what temperature so actually for the burner pipe uh, we did many preheat we did preheating of many burners where the actually the temperature the what is the main requirement you have to remove the moisture and extra water uh, added in the cast table when you are mixing it or means when you are casting it you are adding maybe 4.5 to 5 percent water in the cast table that should be removed and that can be removed by achieving the temperature of 550 max maximum that is okay with that so but it it is long process like it takes around four days this is full process you have to slowly raise the temperature and you have to hold the temperature like at 120 degrees centigrade then you have to raise the temperature to 250 then you have to hold for 12 hours then again you have to go up to 550 you have to hold for 12 hours so it takes around four to five days for full process and uh, maximum temperature 550 is okay uh, if you are going for preheating we are doing this in many plants in india and they they are getting extra life with this uh, practice. Beg your pardon. I switched off my microphone so that you wouldn't hear the train going past. Um, okay. Sorry. Uh, do you have to uh, wait for 12 hours or 24 hours before you start to heat up the burner pipe to 120 degrees? No, no, no. Once casting is completed and it gets its initial strength at least it should get its initial strength because there is cementitious material and it gets uh, strength after 12, 12 hours uh, because we, when you are going to roll these uh, heating elements on that so it should have its minimum green strength so i oh, think so, so uh, you it, have to wait for 12 hours after casting yeah it, okay after casting you should need you should wait for at least 24 hours that will be sufficient for the preheating Okay, so uh, we do have a couple of quick questions. We might not get all of them uh, in. I'm going to ask one from Gabisa Demi Demisi. Um, he says, um, "What are the accessories that are used with precast? So, what what equipment do you do you have to use uh, to put in the precast?" So basically, whatever whatever accessories are required for installation of this precast, we are supplying along with this. Precast. This is a complete okay. package. This is a precast. Then there will be uh, insulating, insulating cast table, insulating board. These metallic rails which will be welded on the cell base plate, base base uh, precast. Everything we are supplying. Okay. Okay. And uh, Nirmal Kumar asks uh, a, a very basic question, but a very pertinent question. What are the advantages of using precast rather than using brick? uh basically the advantage is that basic uh, bricks are having more and more porosity so they are not able to provide you the required lifetime 
but against that if you are installing precast in that area it will provide longer and longer life with lesser and lesser coating and build up on the surface of the refractory that is okay. the basic advantage yeah but i am talking for critical areas but it is not suitable for non critical areas because the cost is higher you i already told that cost is higher it is it will not be economical for the areas which is not very critical where you can you you can get the life good life with normal castable or normal bricks so it is basically used for critical area where you are facing coating problem abrasion problem like all those things so this is beneficial for all those these areas okay wonderful uh, Pankaj, that's all the time we have for questions, but I'd like to thank you once again for a very interesting presentation on uh, refractories and uh, alternative uh, fuels and for answering all of our very many questions. Thank you very much. Have a nice thank evening. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pankaj, we'll see you another time soon, I hope. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Bye, Bye. for now.